Okay, I'm recording the introduction for this video. I'm recording the introduction oh. for this video. I, I, I mean, you, just, you, you uh, could come in here if you want. Yeah, I was just picking up one thing that I, I needed for my little trash museum. So I put it in there now. This is Andreas, the trash traveler. His video is coming up. There's Rita, she's been taking Hello. photographs. Quick shout out to our sponsor. You know our sponsor's called Move In. Moving abroad made simple. If you're interested in moving to Portugal or Lisbon, uh, check them out. They will help you with everything from relocation, taxes, visas, school enrollment, business corporation, all that stuff you need if moving to Portugal or Lisbon. And now to the video with... Andre. The Trash Traveler. The Trash Traveler. Yeah, come along. My name is Andreas Noe and I live in Lisbon. I am the trash traveler, exactly. And um, I'm raising awareness about environmental issues with fun and creativity. That's my little ukulele that is always with me. B sharp. Don't kill the baby shark. Littering and polluting ain't okay. Think of the baby manta ray. Are you crazy? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I had a feeling, I had a feeling. <laughs> yeah, I think a bit of craziness is always good. We're here in Praia de Algez, uh, very close to Lisbon, and this is basically where Tejo hits uh, the open ocean. It's a very beautiful beach for me to always show um, how our cities and our bathrooms are connected directly to the beach, because here you see everything that people just drop into their toilets. I'm from Germany, from Constance, it's on the border to Switzerland. And I came um, here to Portugal seven years ago already. This is telling a story basically. Yeah? You see here my little turtle and the turtle in the sea is eating plastics. Do you know what's properly fantastic? It's the formation of microplastic. They know me as the butt man. One cigarette butt uh, has like 4,000 chemicals and toxins that all getting flushed with rain into the ecosystem. You were on the front of Time Out magazine, were you? Ah, true. In 2021, I asked all the people in Portugal uh, to pick up cigarette butts. Then we brought all the cigarette butts uh, in front of the um, uh, Belém and we put all those cigarette butts as a final on the ground because it's impressive to see. Then Time Out also was interested by getting like so many butts uh, on, on, on one picture and they were even happier seeing me undressing and diving into one million cigarette butts. I think that was, <laughs> that was it. This is a, a leg from a little doll, I think. This for me generally is very exciting because like I have a little collection um, of these uh, special pieces and all our beach uh, clean awareness community, we are comparing what we, what we basically find at the beach, a special one. Is this good for meeting girls? <laughs> yeah, actually, I can't, I can't complain. In the past, I think the, the most people who come also to beach cleanups are uh, women. So uh, what we know all over, I think if women would rule the world, uh, this world would be a much better place. Do you know what it is? Yeah, but... Oh, okay, yeah. It's actually the Q-tip. Cottonette stick. Basically everything that goes down the toilet ends up here. It's just a reflection. Okay, we can we can make it sexy later. It's actually true. I was running away from my, my full-time job. I was always too creative uh, to be sitting in an office um, for a lot of hours and not being able to put my ideas and energy properly into it. Then after half a year I said, Mom, I don't want to go back to Germany. I want to continue this trash thing. And I think at that point, my parents were a bit uh, concerned. But then at some point, when it got like this, um, uh, when, when this project was fully formed and uh, some journalists and uh, TV or something like that got also like attention on it. And since then, my parents are, are, are fully on it as well. Like they were the last three years here and always helped to either collect cigarette butts to collect other kind of trash. Um, so they are actually now the biggest fans. I just love Australia and I think um, somehow Portugal in Europe is uh, the closest what it gets like from uh, the climate to, to some uh, Australian parts uh, and Australia was always too far away so I ended up here and I fell in love with this country. The waves, the nature, landscape, the whole full picture has Portugal. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, we need to phase out uh, oil and gas 
and it's a big structural um, problem and yeah all the big oil companies need to do much much more uh, in a much quicker time until uh, we can hopefully uh, save the ocean and the planet if you could phone anybody in the world ever dead or alive who would you phone oh hey david attenborough oh no david okay cigarettes cigarettes oh cigarette butts cigarettes cigarettes yeah this is nuts did you hear that david <laughs> lisbon I, I would say it's a green place but as all cities it comes with a very big side effect do you think you got across your full personality yeah it's it's difficult sometimes because i think my my personality and the trash traveler um, I don't sometimes know what is what anymore <laughs> uh, and it's crossing but I'm definitely different as Andreas Noy than um, yeah the, the trash traveler is more of a art weird crazy persona um, I don't know which one you actually got in this video more <laughs> I think more of the trash traveler <laughs> You have a girlfriend? I do. Does she currently like you or not like you? She currently likes me, yeah. That's good, well done. Well, you much. started out live. That's good. Cheers, mate. That's Cheers. great. That's a wrap. Sending a kiss. E uma praia portuguesa com certeza Com certeza uma praia portuguesa Eu limpo a praia portuguesa com certeza Com certeza limpo a praia portuguesa Há tanto plástico no mar com certeza E a portuguesa gosta de peixe à mesa O peixe come plástico com certeza Com certeza acabará na sua mesa